to the esteemed serpent lord Kuzaima of Fainabu. I am Adunakor of the Muha tribe of the Haradrim. I was there at the Battle of Kashba, where the army of the Black Serpent crushed the forces of Sirash and the garrison of Amru. The military prowess of your warriors has left an indelible impression upon me. It is with great admiration and respect that I reach out to you now, humbly seeking your alliance and assistance. With the death of Siraj, the Muhad stand leaderless. Recognizing your unparalleled influence and astute leadership, I propose a pact between our two powers. In exchange for your unwavering support and guidance in making me the new warlord of the Muhad, I offer you our utmost loyalty. What I ask is simple. March your army to Amon Ethel, destroy any remnants of Siraj's legacy, and there will be none left to challenge my rule, our rule of the Muhad. Serpent Lord Kuzaima, I implore you to consider my proposition carefully. The Muhad tribe, under your guidance, will become an unwavering pillar of support and an extension of your formidable dominion. Together, we shall rewrite the destiny of our people and shape the course of history in our favor. Together, we shall crush the infidels of Gondor. May the winds of conquest guide our path and may our alliance bring us the glory we both seek. I eagerly await your favorable response, by messenger or by bloodshed. Greetings my beloved friends and welcome back to the second chapter of the Book of Harad. First and foremost, I wish to thank you all from the bottom of my heart for all the, the warm welcomes and all the, uh, the support on the first video. It really does warm my heart and um, just makes me very happy to be back. Anyway, enough sentimental shit, that's not what the Haradrim are about. We are a very warrior and very, well, not sentimental type of... Uh, people, I assume. I don't know. I, I, there's not really that much known about the Haradrim, so who knows? They might be great poets and artists. Artists? Artists and other stuff. I guess maybe we'll figure it out along the campaign. Now, anyway, um, in the last episode, we captured Estela and Amrun. We took our first steps in trying to unite the tribes of Harad, but there's still a long road ahead of us. We'll need to conquer quite a bit more territory. And of course, there is also the threat of the Aradenaim. We tried to befriend them many times, but uh, that always kind of, well, didn't work out. They weren't really interested in my friendship. So it does seem that war with the Aradenaim is inevitable, but I want to postpone that as long as possible. Why, you might be wondering? Well, simply because we need to unlock the Muhad first. The Aradenaim really rely on strong armor, strong defense, and we don't really have the armor-piercing capabilities on our own to uh, get through their warriors. But if we have the Muhad, they are expert javelin men, both on their horses and on foot. So yeah, those are armor-piercing guys that will definitely help in taking down the other names. So definitely want to make sure we unlock them first before we uh, go to war with them. Anyway, before we jump in properly, there's a bit of a warm-up here, and that is of course Tahar. Yes. Kuzaima and Abrazir are ready alongside a decent sized army of Haradrim warriors to take on these punks. Decent set of units, Black Snake Guard as well. Um, so it's not going to be an easy fight, but it's quite an important fight. If we win this, we are another step closer to marching on Amonethal, grabbing our third settlement, which puts us at four in total. I'm not sure if Finable will count. All the four settlements we need it's not a settlement we captured per se so we'll have to see if not there are a couple settlements i can set my sights upon anyway without further ado let's jump in the first battle of today not one of us shall fail to keep all, in all right i always need to be careful that i'm not too cocky in the first fight we had a couple good wins in the previous episode but this is an entirely different beast especially because it's the first battle which means i'm a little bit rusty um, game feels a little bit laggy, not sure why, but whatever. We'll make do. I want to make sure I don't have too much of a territory disadvantage. This seems good. Mm, yeah, that'll work out. Now, they do have a decent chunk of cav. They got some Southland Lancers and a Black Snake Guard unit of their own. So we have a slight cav advantage. 
but we need to be careful. And we also need to make sure that Kuzaima doesn't die. Because <laughs> that, mm, that wouldn't be good. Okay. So, just like last time, uh, oh, we're attacking them, so they're gonna camp the hill. Oh, makes sense. They're not as dumb as they look. Just like last time, we'll wait for them to commit their cavalry. And once their cavalry is committed, not per se dead, but stuck fighting infantry, that's when we'll unleash our cavalry to hit them from the rear. Yeah, the game feels very laggy, I'm not sure why it's so choppy. I'll have to look into that. If any of you guys have an idea what might be causing that, do let me know. I don't have anything running in the background, so... Not sure where the problemo lies. Uh, they got a bunch of archers. Oh, are they using like a shield wall with their Southron spearmen or whatever they're called? That's interesting, I didn't know they could do that. Oh, her other spearmen definitely can't. Yeah, the game feels very choppy. Hmm. Strange. Perhaps it's Melkor's influence or whatever. So they're going to have a massive advantage with that slope. So how do I, how do I counter that? I could try to pull off some sneaky with my calf. Like, just charge him head on. Oh shit, these calf are ridiculously fast. I guess maybe because I'm used to playing as the Aeothian and they're not that fast. These guys feel blindingly speedy for whatever reason. Yeah, they're doing some kind of weird... They don't really know how to position themselves and I think I can make use of that. I just need to make sure I don't charge headfirst into a shield wall, because that's... Hmm, no bueno. I don't think... Okay, never mind. I was about to say, I don't think they'll get a volley off, but they definitely got a volley off. Uh, this might be a mistake. Oh, game, you're so choppy, I don't like it. Even the sound's chopping out. What the hell is going on? I might have to reboot the game in between this battle and the campaign map section. I mean, it's an older game, so it, it does have some quirks here and there, especially when you use mods. So, uh, I don't know. I've, I've had this problem before, but not this terrible. And typically when it happens, it's when I'm, I'm running like a save file that's been going, oh my god, they're destroying my Black Snake God, jeez. Okay, that was a big mistake, definitely. I thought my Black Snake Guard were better than that, to be frank. I thought they had higher armor. Alright, you guys stay back for now. You're kinda done. So I'm just gonna have to... I'm just gonna have to march in. Yeah, I'm gonna have to commit. Uh, I don't like that, but... Well, it is what it is. So we're going to commit our forces. Send them in. No point in waiting. Uh, I'm just gonna take the archers. And you're gonna push in. Pikeman, you are going to be crucial today. If I can pit you against that black snake guard, then... Well, good night to them. Uh, not a good start. <laughs> uh, that's okay, that's okay. We can only go up from here. We can only improve throughout the episode. <laughs> Definitely not going to pull any any worse battles than this. Alright. Uh, yeah, we're going to take some casualties. Time to start running. We're in range, so start running. Sending in my pikemen first was a mistake. I forget that they're faster when in pike mode than regular units. For some reason, I don't know why. Alright boys, this is not bueno. What is this? Serpent elixir, 6 second duration, 75% probability to stun enemy units. Ooh, that's really good. And 150% owed army combat effectiveness. That's really good. We'll use that against that general once he's been committed to the fight. Okay, that's a good charge. Careful. I think it's gonna get extra choppy now, which is really annoying. Oh 
back. Because I, I told you to pull back like 20 minutes ago, mate. This choppiness really isn't helping me. It makes me lose concentration. Alright, gonna commit against that genital. And then pop the elixir on Swift close enough. Yep. And that should be him completely obliterated. This is not good. <laughs> this is really not good. But if we kill that general, we should get... We should get the win just through sheer morale alone. Oh, careful. Yeah, I'm gonna reboot the game after this battle. This is really annoying. I don't know what's causing it. Why is that black snake out not dying? They're still at 10. They were at 10 before. Uh, my black snake guard was very squishy with those archers shot him. So I don't really like where this is going. Come on, Kuzaima. Chase that son of a bitch. Where are the pikes? Where are the pikes, actually? Oh, they're in a terrible position. Come on, guys. This is really not performing as I was hoping. Come on, lads. Pull it together. I don't know what foul sorcery is causing this. Gosh, damn it. All of this for some rebel scum. Really annoying. I seriously hope all the other factions are having to deal with the rebel scum just as much as I am. Because they always seem to gun for the player and they kind of just ignore other factions. Which is really... No, don't run away. Oh my god. Oh, that's so frustrating. He's just buggering off. Alright, you chase him. I need Kazaima in the fight. Don't chase him, chase him, chase him. Don't let him do all that kind of annoying stuff. Alright, now is the time we need to pull this together. Oh, don't tell me he's gonna, like, escape or just keep on surviving and just be a complete pain in the ass. <laughs> Okay, that's a beautiful charge. I wish I could see it from up close without my game Only half paralyzing itself. Alright, come on. Get that general. General pain in the ass. Men. Jeez. Come on, kill the general. How is he still alive? Where is he? Oh no, he's getting a wig. Oh my god. He is a uh, slippery. I thought I was the snake here, but he is slippery. Catch him, catch him. Yeah, that's a charge right on him. Come on. He How does he survive that? Man's an absolute beast. Right. Surely that must mean something. Ah, good. Enemy general is slain. Let's see how these snakes fight without their head. No, 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 no. We're the snakes. We're the snakes. Stop. Mixing it up. We are the snakes, yeah. Damn, that morale is still better than I thought. Well, we're fighting with Kuzaima, so I assume we'll get some healing afterwards. I'm very much counting on that. Oh, well, I can retrain these guys, of course. Okay, there we go. We're getting our first routes. We will win this, I think, but it's... Mm, Kind of a painful fight, not gonna lie. Definitely giving me more trouble and more grief than I would have liked. And I might have just lost this guy. Yeah, he's getting stuck. Okay, pull out. They are tough as nails, I'll give them that. But that's good, because those are the kind of units I'll be using later on in the campaign, so if they're giving me grief, then... Later on, they'll give the enemy grief, right? And they're on my side. Get one. Another charge, please. A good one, please. Where is my general, actually? Alright, you're done for today. You're down to two, that's just too risky. 
kind of want to pull Kazaima out as well, but... Oh, they broke. Thank God. Praise Moko! Keep fighting point blank into them. Damn, this was a painful fight, not gonna lie. Between the choppiness and me losing <laughs> way too many dudes, it's not the best way to start the second episode, not gonna lie. But uh, we're keeping the campaign interesting, right? <laughs> uh, I, I do have a way with words, don't I? Turning a shitty situation into a... Well, just the shitty situation, but at least we can have a laugh about it. Alright, come on, boys. We got this. Just finish off the last of them. There we go. To be in our favor. Finally, we I lost 68, two thirds. That is not okie dokie. Our enemy oh, God like bless. All right. Drive them from the battle. That uh, was not a great win. Not going to pretend that it was. And I will need to rebuild my army before I march onto a Monetho, but it was a win. And at this point, I'll take it. Come on, charge. So at this point, I'm going to reboot the game. I'll make a save first, though. Very important. Although I wouldn't mind doing this battle again. Surely I can't do worse than what we just achieved. But that would be saves coming, and we don't do that. Uh, in the hopes that it'll fix the stuttering. Oh, we healed a decent chunk. Well Can't complain about it that, but... Not a great battle, no. At least I think all my units will still be alive, so we should be able to retrain them, and they'll get some experience, right? Lancer's got five, one, one, three, I don't know. It's something. Alright. Got that. Uh, I'll check you out in a moment. I'm going to save. As it stutters when I'm trying to save. This is really bad. I'll be right back to hopefully fix this. Alright. Attempt number two. Hopefully that fixed it. If not, I might have to do something else that I really don't have an idea of. Anyway, we have Arsh... Ar... Arsh... Arsh... Hope I pronounced that right. And he wants to marry Lily. Lily's one of my daughters, isn't she? Uh, I think she's part of the family tree, right? Yeah. Because he's 20 and she picked up a younger male, only 17, that's quite young, and he's already got decent stats for a 17 year old, you know, so I think we'll take him. We can use all the support we can get, and meanwhile I'm going to pull back all these guys. It pains me greatly, because I'd love to actively go out and conquer things, but I can't conquer it when my army looks like this, you know. That's just not happening. Uh, so, yeah, we'll just kind of wait for reinforcements. I could pull out these units, I suppose. I doubt we'll get attacked from over there. And I could use both Arshardafa and Abrazir. So we'll do that, we'll do that. We'll sail over here, let them pick up some troops. It's a decently sized I'll pick up the reinforcements from Findable, the ones I got retrained. And then we should have enough manpower to take on Ethel. I'd love to take on Karagmir as well. Lots of people have pointed out that on Karagmir is indeed where I can train Mumakil later on. Um, but... Okay, congratulations. Let's just check my economy before I finish my train of thought. Yeah, okay. But uh, on Karagmir has Mumakil in their garrison. And I really don't have the manpower to take on Mumakil at this point. So... Maybe once I have the Muhad... Mumakil are weak to javelins, so maybe once I have the Muhad Beastmasters, we can we can try and take on Karagmir. And Karagmir is also fairly wealthy settlement, if I'm not mistaken. I do believe you get access to gold mines and maybe even silver mines over there. So lots of money to be made. Definitely don't want it falling into the hands of uh, the Ar Adunaim. So I'll be keeping an eye on well, everything that's going on here. The Ar Adunaim wastes. And there come the Aradunaim. They might already try and attack me, unfortunately. So I'll have to keep some garrison behind in Feinobel. Which is far from Feinobel, but hey. What can you do about it? Feinobel got mines. Good. Becoming quite a wealthy settlement. And Amrun got a grain exchange. Right. Um, I think... Honestly, a blacksmith isn't the best investment either. 620 for an flat 40 building income. 
Though I might want to save that for my castle summons, like a lot. You know what I want in Amrun, actually? I want a recruitment slot so I can get these pikemen. So I need the meeting hall for that. Where is it? There it is. Uh, yeah, that gives me two recruitment slots. Plus, plus, plus a free upkeep. Although this guy is a custom general, so he doesn't get the free upkeep, unfortunately. Alright, Waka Wakas, you will go to Amonethal. Perhaps that's a mistake, perhaps I should go straight for Talaljov, if indeed the other name do commit. But we'll see once that happens. Alright, Waka Wakas, I don't want you sailing out towards the ocean. Because if the other name do declare war on us, then they are definitely going to sink you. And we cannot beat other than our ships. Alright, let's talk to the main man, Gimel Chad himself, see if he's interested in alliance. Perhaps his lackeys didn't have the necessary delegation to commit to any trade. Well, trade they did, but alliances. No, uh, we cannot. Good day to you. I hate divide and conquer AI. <laughs> They're always out to screw you. Like they just, they just don't care. Right. Uh, okay. Let's see, if indeed they do attack, so be it. Though someone did mention I should probably put um, Warlord Musab, if I'm not mistaken, that's his name, uh, in Finable to defend because he has an infantry bodyguard, which is better in defense than a calf bodyguard. Let's see if they attack us. The no. Oh, we yes. For some reason that didn't pop up, it only popped up after <laughs> it happened. That's weird. Take Amonetha for a military unit. Yeah, I'll do that. Uh, I think I should sally out, to be fair, because I want to make sure that Kuzaima is out on the field. He is too powerful with his general cav unit to stay behind. Uh, do I have enough manpower to take Amon? I think I do. Okay. Let us sally out. We did get that extra South Run Warband unit, and that might make all the difference. Uh, yeah, Bin Luzir. Oh, the Bounce of Power is not in my favor. Why is that? Ah, they got some really good units. All I saw were the Corsairs, and they would have been easy pickings, like, Guzaima could have soloed them. But the Abrazenim Narduzagar are ridiculously powerful. The Azrazair Crossbows, well, they can definitely obliterate a unit if they get a free shot, so we don't want that to happen. And then, of course, the Abrazenim Narduba Whip. They are also incredibly powerful. So I don't know. This might be a mistake. But to be fair, these are units that the Aradanaim start with. I don't think, perhaps with an exception of the other Azid crossbows, they can train them yet. Far from it even. So if we kill them now, in a relatively, relatively easy fight, they're not a big army of them, then they're gone for at least the next, like, 50 turns. We don't have to worry about them anymore. Besides maybe some other scraps they might have remaining from their starting army. So it's not a terrible situation, I just need to make sure I win this and I don't lose Kuzaima. So it really does boil down to using Kuzaima as efficiently as possible. Which is difficult because I need to charge three range units at the same time and hope that my infantry can somehow hold. So We'll do our best, but it's not going to be an easy fight. Much difficult, much more difficult than I first assumed. Alright boys. They position themselves quite far already. I don't think my towers will get any shots in, so I don't think. And the stuttering is still here. Ah, uh, gosh darn it, that's really annoying. Yeah, I'll try and fix that for the next episode. I do very much apologize. Perhaps I should have waited for them to attack me, because I do have ballista towers. But on the other hand, as long as you're under siege, you also get less income from your settlement. And Finable is such an important settlement. That I really need to be making all the money I can, and also need to make sure I keep building in it. Don't want to delay my, my building and stuff. Alright, they're positioning themselves, they're running away, so if I can get a free charge in on their archer units, especially those crossbows, I'm mostly scared of them, then that's fantastic news. As I ask my other units to set up properly. So these guys have shield wall, that is really good. Not for these guys per se, but later on when I'm facing Gondor, when I'm facing Dol Amroth, you know, more calf-based factions, 
maybe when I'm facing Khan, you never know. That shield wall is incredibly powerful. Shield wall is the best counter, well, one of the best counters against cavalry. Alright, there we go. Free couple kills. You lay siege to my city, and then when I sally out, you try to run away. You know how absolutely cowardly that is. Part of me wants to stay in, because I don't want to give him a free shot. So if indeed they try and turn around and shoot me, I need to return the charge right away. Yep, they're going to try and do that. We're not going to let them. Come here, you punks. Oh, careful. One guy getting a bit ahead of himself. Alright, guys. Pikeman is always a bit more fast <laughs> than the other ones. Alright, that crossbow unit is almost obliterated. Glorious, glorious, glorious. They're trying to get a shot off. But they need to reload first. Yeah. Oh, crap. Alright, boys. It's time to play. Pull back. He's coming in with the Narduzagar. He's got five crossbows remaining. That's nothing. What is your general, actually? It is the Narduba whip. Right? Yeah. Okay, that's good. So that would be the next unit I'd love to charge. Alright, fire on those Narduzagar. I do believe they have shields, yeah. So, might not be the most effective charge, but whatever. Oh yeah, Corsairs, try to charge my Black Snake Guard, see how that goes. Ooh, that's a wonderful charge. My god, that is a great charge. We killed like half their new units. Alright, shoot these punks. Damn, they do look fantastic. Okay. This battle is actually going much smoother than I first thought. I mean, it isn't wise to... What does what, what it have to say? It isn't wise to praise victory before the dawn or something? But I'm praising victory before the dawn. Although the choppiness is coming back. It is really bad. Wow. Wow! It feels like my game's gonna crash any moment now. Could it be there's something wrong with large addresser wear that it's not working properly? So it's not using my full 16 gigabytes of RAM. How much RAM do I have? 16, I think. That might be the problem. Oh god, it is horrible. Watch the other name win because the game is so choppy I can barely play. The choppiness is not working in my favor. Because it's so hard to give commands when you don't know if, like, your orders are coming through, or if you're properly selecting units. Alright, pop the elixir. Like, I'd love to tell them to move back, but it's... Oh my god! The game is falling apart! Alright. They're not broken yet? Okay. I respect that, I respect that. They're close to breaking, though. But these are proper elites, you know. So we shouldn't underestimate them. Screw you, readers. Alright. Let's charge the Narduzigar again. Commit the pikes. I'd love to kill that captain as well. We'll, we'll get on that. Once the choppiness <laughs> kind of goes away. I think if we kill enough units, the game is less laggy because there's less stuff that needs to render. Yeah, I'll try to get it fixed for the next episode. I do very much apologize. I imagine it's the not the most fun to watch. They have lost half their men. All right. I mean, it's, it's, it has it's something, right? It makes it different than other Harad campaigns you've shown. Harad, the PowerPoint presentation campaign. Come on, go ahead and claim that I don't innovate my gameplay. You can't! Because that would be a lie. Mm, he's keeping those Narduba whip very safe. Makes sense. I still need to go uh, get attached to the new Ardenheim names. 
and I do very much want to play another time campaign again in the near future because they've been changed so much since I last played them. Completely different units, completely different models. I mean, the overall gameplay is very similar still. But th and that's where the good part of the other name is, like, there's so much variation you can have with that one faction. If you start in Umbar, you're going to have a pretty vanilla campaign, but you can go literally anywhere. Alright. Charge them, they'll probably break. By all means, they should. If they know what's good for them, they should just... Go home, screaming. Alright. Oh, it's so choppy. Come on. Oh, they're trying to charge me. Cute. Oh, they actually were. Okay, never mind. Perhaps I should give them a little bit more respect. I get rid of those punks. You want to charge me? No, I charge you, bitch! <laughs> Even the horn doesn't know what to do, it's like... <laughs> oh, there he is, the captain. And it looks like a wish dot calm Jon Snow. Because I haven't seen a lot of fighting, actually. I like that. I like that he's not a faction leader just hiding behind the walls. He, he gets his lands dirty, you know what I mean? In more ways than one. Alright, yes, sons of bitches. Yeah, 100%. And we lost 80%. And we also healed the chunk, so it's only 40%. Live in marble, and your foes in sand. Yes, yes, we know it. 490. <laughs> wow. Well, there we have it. That is uh, the first of the other name, because there's more to come. Taken care of. Alright, uh... Yes, nah, I don't want those Nardus to get alive. So, the other name have now declared war on us, which is um, a change of plans, at the very least. But I'm not entirely upset at it, because if they want to take Ankara, I'm going to let them. That is now kind of down on the priority list. But it allows me to capture some territory, like Talal Jaff, uh, all the way towards Umbar, hopefully. And those are some very wealthy lands, you know? So... Not entirely uh, opposed to that. And the other name at this point are not that big of a powerhouse, it seems. At least I haven't really encountered their huge armies yet. Barely anything in Umbar, barely anything in Kaldun, Talaljov as far as I can tell. Barely manned. So, what I do need is extra manpower, as always. And then we can launch an attack on Tal Aljav. So as soon as we finish the Battle of Amonithal, I can pull back one of the generals, maybe even some troops. And push him towards Salal Jaff and see what we can achieve over there. Uh, let us build. Let's build a. Mm, practice range isn't bad. South Run Ashes are decent. But I need some money, so I'll get a level 10 of first. Money is a big problem, especially now that we're at war with the other name. We lose out on a trade partner, so. That's a bit of extra cash that we lack. But yeah, I mean, if it isn't clear yet, the AI just loves to gang up on the player. Always hyper-aggressive. Doesn't really make much sense that the other night would already declare war on me when there's more rebel lands to take. I mean, to be fair, if I was playing as the other name, maybe not the worst move to rush Findable. Okay, that's selling out. Wonderful. It's probably going to be a choppy battle, but if I win this, then I can focus entirely... On the other name, then my rebel territory conquest for now will be put on hold. We're facing a Gondor captain, which is interesting. We got some Harondor mercenaries and a bunch of Southron and Haradrim units, so nothing too crazy, but we shouldn't underestimate them. We do have Cav, so we should win this by all means. Alright, let's save and I'll see you on the battlefield. We shall all find a way to an honorable victory! Oh, alright, there we go. Oh, that's a pretty poopy settlement. In my mind, it was a, a larger territory, but yeah, whatever, it doesn't matter much. Uh, let's not get into our range, but if we can get in our range, 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 that would be good. Spearmen. Have uh, take the flanks. I will be very happy if we do not lose any of our generals, because I do need them. 
I need them quite badly. Uh, should I try and risk... Like, my range is up to here. If I can shoot them when they're trying to come out, without being in tower range, that would be absolutely marvellous. Because the AI always... Well, it's not an AI problem. If you try to do the same thing, you always run into the same problem as well. Um, units just kind of struggle to get through a gate. Especially when it's multiple units. So you kind of have a couple of... Uh, a solid minute or something of free kills and if we can force them to rush their first units out when the rest are still trying to get through the gate then they will be rather easy pickings for my units I just need to make sure I don't fight in tower range that would be a mistake and we're kind of on the verge of that so I need to be careful there we go free shots even these kind of poopy archers they're bound to kill something at this cluster F I don't know this hard on the mercenaries if you can. If you can kill the captain early on, that's gonna be that's gonna be good. I need to make sure the infantry is close by. Uh, I might need to fire on them. Because they're setting up. Those hard on the mercenaries are too cool to use shield, so we'll make them pay for that. I do think tower range starts roughly around here, so. Don't want to rush in just yet. Want them to come just a wee bit closer. Already shot 10%. Good. Very good. I could go for a sneaky charge on that archer, but as long as they're not firing yet, because they're reforming, they're trying to set up battle lines. And now the battle isn't stuttering. Right? Oh, I hear towers firing. Yep, you're in range of the towers, pull back. So yeah, like I thought, it's like right around here. We're very much on the edge. Not the edge of 17, but the edge of towers. Not sure why Stevie Nix didn't sing about that one, but hey. She might still. Uh, keep firing, keep firing. 21%, good, good, good. Yeah, Mr. Gondor, I wouldn't buy any unripe bananas if I were you. Because you won't be alive to eat them. Are they fighting? Yeah, they are fighting. That's unfortunate. But I still want to not commit my troops. I still have an advantage here. But now we commit. Pull back. I want to make sure we're not fighting in tower range. Doesn't matter if I need to do like one cap charge in tower range or something like that. They're not ballista towers, anyways. It's not insurmountable. It is to be avoided. Stop. Oh, it feels so nice to play a battle without stuttering. Like, everything is so smooth all of a sudden. Smooth like my butt. I have a ridiculously smooth butt, in case you don't know. If you do want to know, you should subscribe to my OnlyFans account. I'll put a link in the description. Alright, oh, that is... Ugh, beautiful judge. Well oh, nice, already! The enemy oh, yeah, there he goes. Plop. Let's see how these snakes fight without their heads. Pushing daisies. <sighs> Sorry. Oh, no, don't charge that, I didn't spam it on. I thought there was but just for some reason, although that wouldn't make a lot of sense. Alright, commit. Screw the towers. I don't think they're activating them, unless... Oh, these guys are inside, so they might activate the towers. Unfortunate. Only half the enemy force remains. We must pray they lose their will to fight. Oh, they'll lose something. Will to fight, their lives. I leave that up to them, that's... Not my decision to make. I mean, if they don't make the decision, I'll make it for them, but I want to avoid that. I want them to just take their stuff and go. Those poor guys are chasing my cab, and in this meantime, I'm just getting absolutely obliterated by my archers. It's just wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Alright, turn around. Focus on them. Yep. 
perfect. Uh, you stop fighting for now. You was oh, you're out of ammo. Okay. The combined calf slash infantry charge. That's combined warfare for you. Oh, there we go. I think if I end battle now, we've won, right? I, t I don't want to risk it. I'm going to obliterate those guys. Just so I make sure I have them on ethel. No debate. Just get that 85% or however much I need. Stop firing, you're doing friendly fire, lad. And that should be a plenty. Hey! The name. The name. Let all the poets oh. write of this most oh. wondrous triumph. Okay, different voice line for some reason. I thought it was always the same voice line with a heroic victory, but I guess not. Right, even our cavalry wasn't even like topping the charge. It's the archers by quite a mile. Nice, congratulations, good job. Your faith and Glorious. Oh, this settlement has nothing. It has victory. walls and dirt. I thought it'd be a little bit better. And now we border the Dol Emruthians. That is uh, not good. Uh, I hope those rebels go screw that stuff up. All right. The Muhad. Ah, so we do already get the Muhad. So findable counts. Good. Oh, that's really good news, actually. I can use him against uh, Talaljov. The men of the dunes, or as they call themselves, the Muhad, have pledged their loyalty and fealty to the Black Serpent. They bring with them excellent javelin men, as well as hordes of stubborn, hardy camels. We must have impressed them with our recent conquest. Ah. Uh... Does... Artven. I thought your name was different. I need to rewrite my intro. God damn it. So we got Beastmasters, Tribesmen, and then Artvin. Okay, cool. Perhaps it's a randomly generated name. Because I looked at Ligus' video to see what his name was. And it was a different name. Yeah, well. Alright, uh, let's see. I can give you these three units. That should suffice. And then I'll pull Abrazir. I'll pull him in. Um, you will not be able to reach... Orders, all job. We could lay a trap here. So let's just march as far as we can. Yes, I could pick up some other uh, some Corsair units. Mm, I'll see. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. I should have enough to march towards Salaljov. But let's make sure our spy is in the area because I don't trust the other name. They are hiding units somewhere. They must have a bigger army. There's no way that's all they've got. Uh, let's get a lot of time of that then anyway. Okay. Orders. Yep, nope, all seems good. Uh, any retraining left I can do? No. Wait, I can't train calf here. Oh, I need a blacksmith first. Okay. Mm, I need free upkeep and I'm on ethos as quickly as possible. So, I'm gonna skip the pikeman. I know, I know. But if that means I can get a meeting hall. No, I can't. Why not? 950. Uh, I guess I'll wait. Oh, I'm losing money. Um, that's annoying. I should have gotten. I should have gotten free upkeep in Estela already. I'm a bit of an idiot. Yeah, that's yeah. That's kind of problem with these extra units you get. Like it's not only very much expensive. Um. Oh wait, did I get a free unit? Oh, Haradrim's oh, Haradrim Spearman, are you kidding me? I mean, they'll help, but... Seriously, that's all you can give me? <laughs> right, whatever. Um, if we take Talal Jav, we should have money. So what's next? What's next? What's next? Uh, da -da 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 -da. Muhad. Four regions for the Muhad. Eight for the Trollmen, though. That's ooh, very helpful, but eight regions is quite a bit. Let's see. One, two, three, and there's one here. Four. So if I just crush... The other name, <laughs> I should have the troll man. Okay, well, I can I can live with that. I already made the intro before recording this episode because I'm I, I don't have a lot of time this week. I'll be out most days, and I wanted to make sure that there wasn't like a huge delay between episodes one and two. So I already made the intro yesterday while I was reading all your comments, already kind of preparing on what would happen in this episode. So I made it before recording it. Um, so we'll just pretend that. Whatever name I used in the first, or in the intro, that guy ended up dying anyway, and it's his son or something. See, that's how I come up with the Lord, man. <laughs> uh, we'll get Corsair Arches, why not? 
Ah, damn it. Let's make sure we Orders. lay siege to Tarajov. They will attack me, and that's fine, because I can take them down one by one. Let's just make sure there's no other reinforcements coming about. These guys suck. Oh! Oh, hello! <laughs> we got both Gimmelzord and Gimmelthorn in here. And it's going to be a hard fight. But killing both of Gimmelchad's sons in one battle would be fantastic. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. A decent set of units here, nothing too terrible. What's in Kaldun? Yes, I, no, I can't really check. See, I kind of want to not befriend Dol Amroth per se, but maybe I chill out with them a little bit. Come to a sort of understanding, but they don't screw me over and I'll, I won't screw them over. But first and foremost, I need vision. Alright, Kardashian, yes. let's get some watchtowers up in here. A watch here. Make sure you have enough movement At points once. remaining to make it back yes. to Amonethal. Right. That's good, and then we'll get some towers on this side, although I already have a tower here, which is really helpful. Very, very happy that that one's there. How far can I make it out here? At once. Not that far. Your men are out of sight. Setting a watch uh, yeah, here. Well. Can't can take territory, that's fine. I really wish I wasn't at war with the other name yet, but well, here we are. Okay, let's press the enter. And they'll sally out and get those reinforcements and attack me. 100% certain that. And that's fine, that's fine. Because that means I can kill Gimelzor and Gimelthorn, which pleases me greatly, as I'm sure you could tell by my <laughs> expression there. Uh, yep, there we go. And he's bringing everyone. Yep, that's what I expected. But my friends, I think I'll end this episode on a bit of a cliffhanger. <laughs> I know, I know. Some of you aren't going to be happy about that. Because, trust me, I want to do this battle as well, but you got to make sure you got something to look forward to in the next episode. So this army, that's a non-issue. They basically don't exist. This army, slightly more threatening. A little bit scary. A little bit scary, not going to lie. The Nardutarik are very cool. Let's see, they got like 11 armor, but we got armor-piercing javelin boys, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. But the unit I'm most scared of, actually, is Gimelthorn's unit, Bruthia Watch. They're a very good crossbow unit. If they get some free shots off, they're gonna obliterate my guys. I'm less worried about Gimelzor, because he's got 28 defense, 15 armor, all fancy-dancy stuff, but we got javelins, so... I don't think it's going to be too much of a problem. But yeah, we'll have to wait for that for the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. We have unlocked the Muhad, which was what I wanted to achieve in this episode. So that's good. Um, besides that, I'll try to fix the stuttering before the next one, because I realize that's very annoying. But uh, yeah, Aradhanai declared war on us, and we are we repelled one attack at Finable, and now we are set for the great counterattack. So yeah. Look forward to that, and I'll see you all for episode number three.